Uh, great win, obviously. Proud of the guys. Uh, wasn't a thing of beauty. We got off to a slow start. But um, guys really cranked it up, especially towards the end of the half, got us some momentum. Stevie really helped us offensively get it going when we were struggling to score. Um, and then our defense, I think, really took over, especially the second half. And we dodged some bullets. Um, but I thought our, our aggression, our physicality, um, you could tell, you know, kind of wore them a little bit. And those shots that they got late, that they normally make it a higher clip, I think um, our, our D and our pressure had a little bit to do with, with that. And both teams were fatigued because it was a heck of a battle. Um, but proud, proud of our guys for finding a way to, to get it done. Questions? For G and Stevie, what was that like as seniors to be able to, you know, have some pretty big roles in a, a team win like that? You know what? This this was just huge for us. It was awesome. The best feeling ever. I mean, I feel like this was the best game we we ever played as a as a team. So it was it was just really huge and. Uh, I want to thank our Beaver Nation for uh, being here and having our back. Yeah, Steve? yeah, yeah. Uh, G hit it uh, right perfectly there. Um, like you said, a great, great team effort all around uh, from top to bottom. Everybody played well. Everybody contributed. Uh, it was a great, great week of practice for us, uh, game planning against uh, the, their press and things like that. So um, everybody really uh, definitely contributed to that throughout the week. And um, like G said, our fans uh, tonight uh, were great. Um, really, really fed off their energy throughout the course of that game, and they never let up. So uh, they, they really uh, kept us pushing there. And Wayne, what did you see from that, uh, basically that eight minute mark, where at that point it was kind of still up for grabs? We made a little adjustment and put um, a couple different guys in the back of our press breaker. Um, um, guys that we thought could maybe finish some plays. Um, I think it was Trace and Kyler for a while, and Trace and G. And we, 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 the guys in the, in the backcourt did a great job of getting it through their pressure up the floor. And, you know, we were getting shots at the rim or getting to the free throw line. And then we hit some really timely threes. Um, Stevie bailed us out a couple of times, not just with threes, but shots at the end of the clock when we weren't executing. Um, I know Trace hit one, Ethan hit a big one, and that allowed us to open it up. But then our, our defensive. Uh, pressure and, and our, our ability on that end, I think, is, is another thing that contributed to it and allowed us to get out a little bit uh, so that we didn't face that press the whole time. Wayne, well, you guys have been kind of a, maybe a three-week bump defensively. In the last 30 minutes today, you really just turned it around. What, what did you, what, 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 I guess, what's, what's, what's there for that, Well, the, the whole key, and, you know, I know, I know it's easy to look at stats and they don't always tell the story. Uh, the reason we were giving up um, that high a percentage or in that defensive funk, as you put it, a lot that had to do with turning the ball over. That led to touchdown turnovers where they're dunking, laying it in. Those are 100% shots. So that had a lot to do with those numbers being abnormally high, I think. And tonight we took a much better, uh, much better care of the ball. But our focus, too, this week was getting back to defending like we know we're capable of. And the guys really bought into it. Um, this week's practice was, was the best we've had in a while. I mean, as far as from Monday through the end of the week. So the, the guys just did a great job of responding, uh, not just defensively, but in other areas too. Stevie, when you guys were kind of struggling there early in the game, it seemed like you, you kind of put the team on your shoulders a little bit. Were you kind of conscious of the fact that you needed some leadership out there and you wanted to kind of lead, lead you guys out of it and get going? Or? Uh, I just was trying to be aggressive uh, when I caught the ball um, uh, ahead behind the press. Uh, when uh, the defense was behind, just trying to be aggressive, uh, going going to the rim a couple times there. Um, I think um, we really, really did a good job of moving the ball against their press after that, and um, it, their press was really ineffective after that for the most part. Wayne, you've talked about wanting this defense to get back to the way it played in the beginning of the season. Uh, was this kind of that first step forward? And if so, how do you make sure that you, you keep continuing? Yeah, it's a good start. We just, our, it's, it's really, we, we got to just bring our hard hats and lunch pails every day. When the guys are dialed in and uh, really take that focus and, pr and we get great leadership in practice, it carries over. And um, I, know, I know these guys miss when Trace is out there, not out there practicing. Um, he, he hates not beating out, being out there. This week we had everybody, and I think that really helped our intensity every day in practice. And um, that's that, that's a key. These guys all feed off of one another. Again, the chemistry when we're whole is pretty special, and I think that was um, what led to the, to this result.
Uh, and gave, I mean, obviously Oregon played their tail off and they they battle back like they do. And I'm just I'm just proud that we even though we fought through some tough times defensively and missing free throws, we didn't when it mattered most down down the stretch. And uh, it was nice to see our guys close it out. For both players, you guys talked about what a cool atmosphere it was and to win here. But how much more special was it to complete sweep? Um, yeah, it's definitely very special. Um, the atmosphere was amazing. Um, uh, me and G being seniors, I know it's a, it was extra special for us uh, to get that win on our home court and be able to sweep um, in this rivalry. Um, just really fed off their energy throughout the course of the game, and it was uh, very nice to see see a, a sellout crowd and um, hear them throughout the game cheering us on and uh, giving us a big competitive advantage. I mean, he pretty much said it all, but now we, we need to stay focused and practice for a few days and get ready for LA school. So that's, that's a big, big road trip for us. I was really proud of, uh, I mean, everybody this week from our marketing and ticket people just pushing this game, but the student section was unbelievable, unbelievable in the crowd in general. Um, we need to, it's, it's, it's very evident when it's like this, the way our guys perform. So we're going to put the heat on them to, to finish this way um, the last couple of games and hopefully on into the future. But I, I want to give them a shout out for sure because they make our student section and the, and, and the crowd in general made the difference tonight. Um, Stevie, phenomenal performance tonight. Um, last time playing at home against the Ducks. Could you talk about what's going through your head? Um, yeah, uh, always always a big game for us. Um, big game for, for the crowd and the fans like that. So. Um, Throughout the four years, uh, the the Oregon State uh, fans, uh, Beaver fans, have been uh, great, uh, best best fans in the country in the conference, and um, just wanted to, to go out uh, last time playing in the Civil War game um, with the, with the win for them and playing hard and giving it giving it our all and uh, leaving it all on the court. Uh, Coach, could you talk a little bit about um, the effort that number thirty one has been putting in in practice? I, I've heard that you brought him up from the women's practice squad team. Um, I didn't know who you're talking about. Who's that? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Eli, mm -hmm. Eli Glenzel is great. I mean, um, when we had some injuries and we had some defections, I guess, we, we, we had to add somebody just so we could practice. And Coach Eli from the women's staff had recommended him as a practice player earlier in the year. And um, we put it together sometime during Christmas break. He was excited to join us. Um, and he was quickly thrown into the fire, and he learned quickly that he's going to be coached like everybody else by the staff. And it was just, it was nice. I mean, the great thing was when we won down there, I met his parents for the first time. Mom's in tears, you know, after the game. And then uh, it was pretty neat to be able to throw him in, um, you know, with a couple of the other Oregon kids that, that don't normally play. And um, he even got a rebound, so he got his first stat. You know, it's just that's what we're all about. You know, giving people opportunities and those those that earn opportunities. You know, they, that's what they get. You know, we talk about you earn what you get, and so it was pretty cool for for he and his family. It's gonna be a great memory, and um, you know, it's it's easy to do stuff like that when when you've got guys on the on the team that you that you really love and you know that really support each other. So it was pretty cool. Lately, when you build a program like this and you're checking boxes. Yeah, certainly, certainly. Yeah, that's 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 one of the things that you know. I don't know that we've always been in a great position to do it. I think it's, it's gradually gotten better. But uh, I will say this: this this week was more about a big league game than a rivalry game. Um, in our practices, in our meetings, we talked about the way things were going with other teams. We just needed to stay focused on our business, and that was winning a home league game here down the stretch. And, and that, you know, obviously there would be, you know, a bonus if, you know, if it happened to go our way and we swept them. But it was much more about staying focused, taking care of business here at home, getting some momentum going again. Uh, Coach, uh, Kenny Wooten played in this game, but how, how were you guys able to make him a, a non-factor? The big key was to be really, really physical with him offensively. Um, he, he, he so impacts the game. If, if you're not in contact with him and he gets to roam around in that paint, I mean, he's one of the best shot blockers in, out there. So our deal was to put him involved in a lot of screens uh, and then duck him, seal him, 
uh, and try to limit limit um, you know his impact. Um, I know I, I heard stories that he was a little bit maybe under the weather earlier in the week, um, you know, um, and, and so I think that might have carried over a little bit um, because you know he you could tell he just was missing a little something. That, but I think uh, I also want to give credit to our guys, you know, for for making it tough on him. Thanks, guys. Go Beavs! Thanks.